Hi everybody, welcome back to Borderlands 2. My name is Mikey Dubs, and today we're playing some randomized rogue lands. But we're doing something special here. If you see my multiplier right here, I'm actually going to be sp spawning in 2x the enemies. And I'm combining that with playing rogue lands proper instead of rogue lands mini. And trying to go for one raid boss clear. Um, that should give me a pretty decent challenge as well as... Um, a decent video length. It's, it's, I'm trying to nail down a decent video length that's a little bit different than the Rogue Lens mini loop. Uh, so we'll see how this goes. We go incendiary damage relic because we know it can be good. We know it can be good. A launcher in, the, in that fourth spot can also come in handy. Okay, we got a Hyperion Sniper, which isn't my favorite for shock damage builds, but I guess it is what it is. Cool the back can come in handy too. I still haven't looked at my randomized skills, so we're gonna find out. I just came off doing a, a Tunguska. Really? Alright, welcome to the squad, but you better behave. Just saying. Alright, so I'm already seeing money shot and boar. Off rip. Okay. And anarchy. Anarchy, boar, money shot. Our, our future is in front of our eyes. We have to we have to capture the moment when this came to pass. Let's go five points elemental empathy. Oh I can't. It's not Rogue Lands Mini. I have to earn my skill points. <sighs> okay, Tunguska. This is your moment to shine. Don't blow this. That being said, we're gonna go cool down right over incendiary damage. I actually don't think so. We hit Skags. We can just use this Hyperion. We can just use the launcher and be fine. All right, let's roll. Use use launchers here. Go for multi shots. Boom. If we throw a turret, they're all melee. They'll all go onto the turret here. A lot of them will. Yep. You're all melee. Group up on the turret. Bada bing, bada boom. That's a tubby Skag. I'm gonna put that out there. Tubby Skag round one. Holy cow. The two X spawns. The two X spawns are ridiculous. And I turned off kill, kill enemies on round end. So here we go. This is the new Rogue Lands. This is the new me. Almost out of rocket launcher ammo. Missing it is also really incredible. You can shoot one Tunguska shot. As long as it doesn't kill me. I'm dead. I got second wins. We're fine. Okay. I got my five points. I can put them in now. And I have a leather quad I can use for these skags. Perfect. Let's go for... I want money shot as soon as possible. Let's, let's do elemental empathy, even though we are using a, a, a quad. Should be just fine. And you're going to give me something amazing and delicious and super amazing. And legendary point man isn't so bad. And a storm. Jeez, our... The loot is going to go kind of off the rails now. The double X enemy spawns. And I can choose whether or not I want to go over there. Tunguska, as much as I love you, I hate you. I hate you. It's a lot of rocket ammo back. Alright, let's roll. Oh, that bad, Larry? Use the quad when it's available. Getting an early one is nice. Rabbit Skag might need something a little bit more heavy heavy duty in this quad. Oh, yeah, he's definitely hurting me. Hey, hey I'm hurting and you're still hitting me. I'm going to point out that's a little bit rude of you. If we can get a fire dot going, that should heal us up pretty nicely. Yeah, the elemental empathy. Very good. And now I feel confident going back to the quad for the kill here. There we go. Now bring it on. Oh, nice crit. The I, that that might have crit the first one. Wow, wow, wow. Get back to my launcher. I've been using the number pads a lot more for swapping weapons. I think to heal up, it's it's try to dive up as many enemies as you can. Look at that. There we go. You get destroyed. 
Oh, nice juke by that rabbit skag. We get, get some more dots going here. There we go. That's going to get up our elemental, elemental empathy. A little launcher swap. That's, that's enough heals for now. And then once we add money shot, that's when that's when things go absolutely haywire. Oh yeah, hundred percent. This times this times two multiplier might be the way. Get rinsed. It lets me stay in combat for longer and making decisions for shorter. And that the challenge is still there because it's times two spawns. We'll see. Uh, anything here that I'm really eyeing? Not necessarily. I'm looking for high damage elemental weapons. Realistically, that's like my end game. So the, I mean, the quad is good enough for now, but I want to be able to use my elemental empathy to keep me topped up regardless of the situation. And it really does make sense to carry around... I mean, we could use the storm. Maybe I'm, I'm putting zero respect on the storm. Let's go find out. Let's go fight some more skags. If the fight ever gets too too scary, you can jump to next round. I can jump to next round. Okay. Put some respect on the storm. Singularity is very, very important because we have boar. We're trying to go for the nuclear run. A nuclear run. Reload speed and mag size makes a lot of sense for me here. How many how many of my skills are getting boosted by my class mod? Just one. Just one. It gives me max health and health regen, which I do think is nice. But is it just sort of better than magazine size and reload speed? I think it might be. Do I have pressure or steady? I don't. Let's let's stick with the health regen. Let's do it for Jolts, because he goes he goes right side skill tree on Salvador. That is certainly a strategy. That's a strategy that I abandoned after I had people in my comments telling me to, to do cooldown spam. The homing slag singularity might be even better. Oh, okay, and that's not a one shot, which is crazy because I hit a critical on him. Okay, the, I feel like this should, at this point, this should probably be a one shot if I'm, if I'm hitting my shots properly. Just saying. I still have to touch the turret down. Do I really need four launchers? Probably not. <laughs> But it's, I think at the end of the day, it's pretty fun to have three launchers. Destroy. If I had boar right now, oh my gosh, you'd be so toasted and roasted. I'm four enemies away from having money shot. This run could be pretty nuts. A sorrowful damage cooldown rate. Mmm... Trying to process that cooldown right relic for the assault rifle damage. I think we take both, but I, I use the cooldown right relic one for now. So some Teslas can help us out. I don't have a shock damage relic, so these Teslas are gonna have to do a little bit of hard carrying. Enemies fighting in the dark. I think it gives them an advantage. I was born in the dark. I was born in the dark. Okay, turret goes down. I have my five points for money shot now. Which is gonna, they're gonna start wishing that they hadn't messed with me this entire time. This first guy's gonna feel the pain. This guy right here. Boom, see ya. First money shot is a kill. That's, that's a sign. What, it's a sign that it's a broken skill? What do, you, what do you want me to say? Why do you think I'm rushing it, homie? He born under a rock. My shot's been broken since day one. Since day one. The chain money shots are ridiculous, though. 
That's what gives Salvador the raid, you know, the raid possibilities. Any more enemies? I'm still getting the music. That's the best transfusion I've gotten so far. And I don't have four, so I would take that. There we go. You guys are showing back up. Later. I only got one shot left for these lads in my magazine. It's a money shot. Gotta hit it. Boom! Later, kiddo. Ooh, super badass. Alright, this is a fight. Let's go. Don't be here for when my money shot comes back around. You might want to continue walking along your way. There. Money shot. Ripped him. The soundtrack is kind of fire, though. I totally agree. Pop goes the weasel. Pop goes the times two multiplier weasel. Mobbing round two. This is pretty. This is pretty nuts. I really do like the times two multiplier. I think it definitely is. It's definitely adding some enjoyment into the game for me, for sure. Way more combat, way less menus. There we go. The problem, it's not a problem, but I, if I was gonna, in, in that YouTube comment post, and I had this a little bit of it typed out, but on Jolt's comment post were, or his, his uh, community, post that he put out asking saying that they're they've decided to go for one more big update post which you guys will think we will you'd want in the game and so i was like i i if he asked me about it in chat a couple weekends ago and i said i don't know i have to think about it and i think what i would like best of all is is kind of a major major change to the game and i would like a an hour long experience maybe a little bit less maybe a little bit more depending on your run that doesn't go through three raid bosses instead goes through one raid boss i am okay doing a dragon fight and a raid boss fight but just add dragons to the pool maybe maybe but i i kind of like the pacing of tier one in roguelands proper the the thing that feels bad about it is that i can't get all the action skills so the uh the, the skill points right so I want more skill points. I want the difficulty to scale to scale higher without without having to go through the three tier system. Because how they they how they do it now is you go back to the main menu, right? You go back to the main menu, and then you your difficulty of your game gets increased until you beat tier two. And once you beat tier two, the difficulty of the game gets increased until you get to tier three, but you have to go back to the main menu. That's why, as Gage, you have to go get your anarchy stacks all back. I don't know if Sanity Saver saves you from that fate or not. Um, I think I might have kept it on to try. I think I do. I might have it enabled. So when we do get anarchy, I can try to see if it, if it transfers between rounds. How about this times two spawn shenanigans right now? You gotta be real careful here. I got my five points, which is nice. I take boar, easy choice. And let's start working our way to anarchy as quickly as possible. I think electrical burn made a lot of sense right there, and the fact that I didn't take it is a little bit ridiculous. For my healing potential. My if if I take electrical burn, my shock damage can start burning. My my electric damage. The, all I could be I could be burning all these lads right now. I got two rabbit skags on me. It's a little bit crazy. I might have underrated, underestimated my competition here. 
I got some pretty I got some pretty nice skills. Hoping to line up some boar, maybe. There we go. I'm still alive. That's the crazy part. I'm out of grenades, though. Oh, stuck on a wall. This is the end. My only friend. The end. Shock is carrying right now. It is, yeah. I think I might need to go for a little bit of fire damage. Do I have any on, on, on tap? I do. Let's go for a little bit of fire damage. Let's, let's just erase these rabbit skags real quick. Imagine 25x. I can't imagine it. I can't. I won't imagine it. I think times two right now is, is right where we need to be. Get money shot launchered, just by the way. Okay, that's a lot of rocket ammo, but and we're not approaching the SDUs anytime soon. This this definitely has different a different level of pacing, I would say. Not taking electrical burn there, I think is a big misplay. Is it a kill skill? Because then I would feel less bad. It's not. When your electrocute status effect deals damage to enemies, there's a chance it will burst into flames and take burn damage. That with elemental empathy would keep us up a lot, rather than just putting four points into ranger. Have I earned enough? Oh, I have. Let's go. Like that's the, like that's such a waste of a respec. Why would you ever do that? Don't speak to me on such matters that you do not know. Let's go four points electrical burn. And one point ranger. Why one point ranger? Because if I hit an enemy, uh, a group of enemies next round that is all armored and doesn't take any fire damage. And everyone's like, oh my gosh, you wasted your points, you wasted your points, you wasted your money. I have one point ranger. I technically did not completely waste it. I'd still have my one point ranger. I'm all about my image. That's why when uh, in a recent video of mine, when I was talking about how Jolt's dude thought he was so good when he was running around with Salvador one-shotting the dragons. I said, show... And in my video, I said, show up. I said, show up to randomize Roguelands. And someone said, no... Someone in the comments said, no Jolt hate. Boo. It's not hate if it's true. Dude isn't showing up. If he wants to put up numbers... I mean, I know he's got his own grind, but the guy gets, the guy is massively enormous with his runs that he does. But if he's gonna, if he's gonna, you know, drop Easter eggs on everyone and say he's seen, he's seen, no one has seen this and he's watched a lot and no one has seen this one. And it's like a super one that I probably should have gotten a million years ago, basically putting me on blast. I gotta put him on blast. Listen, if you're gonna... If you're gonna show up to your Roguelands mod and say, you know what? I guess I'll just play Salvador. I guess if you want to showcase the things that people missed and all that kind of stuff in a timely fashion, I guess Salvador is the best choice. I can't, can't disrespect him for that. But you're gonna go Salvador? I'm, I'm totally dead here, by the way. Like even if I get this turret down, like this is this is a run ender, 100% run ender. Oh, a little money shot though for your life. Elemental Empathy, please give me, top, top me back up. Thank you. And that's it. That's, we we officially killed ourselves. This guy's gonna do some crazy shenanigans. Look at him. Oh, we're so back. Okay. Wait, wait, it's crazy. We actually are so back. Plus that. I don't know what it does, but get it going. Use all of our launch ammo. We have officially none left. And we're taking damage from multiple sources. I don't know if this has the juice, but hopefully the, the, the elemental empathy starts ticking me up more than more than I think is, is reasonable. But I'm hoping that can be broken enough to maybe keep me alive here. Come on, get, get those elemental burns. The burns. Thank you. Thank you. Hey. Let's go. Okay. By the way, we rolled the hardest mini boss in the game, I would say. On times two spawns, I'm not sure if this is going to spawn two mad mics. If it does, they get the run is over. <laughs> There's no way to survive this run, if that's what happens. Okay, the, the one enemy in the game that resists both shock. Okay, well, it's not the one enemy in the game. It doesn't resist headshots, brother. It doesn't resist headshots. Where's my burns? 
He resists burns. Oh, yeah, there we go. Mm. Oh, a little money shot crit for your life. All right, toss the turret down. You say, focus on boar, focus on boar. I can't focus on boar. These enemies are tiny. We focus on boar when we get there, okay? We get Hyperius, I promise you I will one-shot him. I've gotten three one-shots in a row on Hyperius. The actual bring down to zeros. I'm starting to figure that fight out a little bit. I think the last one was a little bit lucky, because I actually... I used the fire weapon, and I didn't actually shoot through that many targets. I actually just... The robot's shield was actually up. And I shot through to Hyperius, who I believe shield was down. His shield might have been up. I can't guarantee you. I have to go back and watch. But I believe his shield was down. So, and I only shot through one or two of his robots, and I got a and I got a a bore one shot, which is kind of ridiculous. A lot of ammo in that weapon. Okay. We did it, it did a good job for us this whole time. But now I think... Now I think we go to this quad and we pray to the Borderlands gods that we live. Stick with transfusions. We go turret. And we just, we just pray. That's all you can do. We're going to be going for a lot of money shots here. Reclaim turret and play for the late game. There we go. That This this is going to be a very, very important power up for right now. Okay, there's one, one enemy down. We should be able to get several enemies down here. Let's go. Yeah, this one is probably the most broken gun one you can get. But it doesn't give you it doesn't give you health or anything like that. You still gotta be smart about what you're doing. Okay, Mad Mike spawned. I think that's double spawns. It's double spawns, ladies and gentlemen. Look, the run might be over. But our, in our hearts, we we were we hit, we were already winners. And it's the the real victory with the friends we made along the way. Okay. All we can do is pray at this point. We go to our bandit launcher here. We are all out of ammo on that. All we can do is pray for money shot. Come on. And we go down. But hey, that was pretty fun. That's actually... We have enough time. We can do a run back. We can absolutely do a run back. Let's go. Run again. But the, uh, let's be honest with ourselves. That storm was not pumping. And actually, I do want to get a new seed. I do want to get a new seed for my skills. Not that this... Well, do I really? No, not really. Let's keep it going. Get the same randomized seed. The elemental empathy route didn't really do it for me. I mean, but it definitely has the potential to do it for me. I didn't get a boss that I could really use Bore on. I got Mad Mike. Two Mad Mikes. So I think I think a run back is in order. Let's do this crowdsourcing. If I'm gonna be running elemental empathy, maybe that can help us. Shock damage can be useful. A decent grenade. I'm not gonna say it's a good grenade, but it's a decent grenade. Okay. Looking for things that can deal elemental damage. This overkill probably clears this crowdsourcing a million times out of a million. Let's run it. I think we roll. If the skills are the same, won't the enemies spawn the same? Doing Mad Mike again? I don't think... No, because it's a new character. Just the same... New character, same um, randomization for the skills. So how it works is, it spawns in a new seed. And that new seed has characters with all the skills. I... Yeah, let's go. I'm using a fire weapon and a corrosive damage stage. That's a good way to get yourself killed. But I don't really have anything that's not fire. 
that can do that much here. Maybe Grenache. Rolling the wrong zone is pretty rough. Okay, we need something maybe corrosive from here. More fire. We, we jump, we jump, we jump, we get out, we get out. Okay, I mean, now we farm this chest. Don't worry about it. These enemies, they, 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 don't got, they don't got a clue who we are. But we'll show them. A homing shock transfusion. I was hoping for maybe a little bit of something that was... I don't think about it. You gotta put some respect on them, though. They might, they might actually do the job for me here. I'll throw all five. I can start helping out a little bit with gunplay. A little bit of turret play as well. Hopefully that's a good spot for it right there. Okay. I think that robot is still on that wall. Keep an eye on it. We toss deep. That's a reclaim for sure. They're, they're all coming back and I have no way to escape. It's gotta, it's gotta happen now. Oh. Okay. Land out, launcher out at this point. And we have a TDR launcher. It's a, it's a, it's a corrosive launcher. It's gonna be really good in this exact situation. I just didn't want to burn up all my launch ammo, but I think at this point we can call it square. And I believe it only eats one ammo when I throw my TDR launchers. We can just throw them like that. Get my turret down. Get some heal juice up. Once I kill two more enemies, I think I can give some points in elemental empathy. Oh, I really did not want to have to shoot again to kill this guy. Big reload there. There we go. So let's definitely get our, our points here. That's numb nerves. That's not elemental empathy, brother. That's fine. Four and elemental empathy should do something for us here. They have shields, though. Mm. If they have shields, that's going to be hard to kill. But maybe we can go for some homing bouncing Betty. And then we'll be steady spaghetti. Come on. Kill that lad in the back. Thank you. Go for some cover here. Let's try to live. Let's try to live. Throw, throw a bouncing Betty. Yeah, we're fine. Tour cooldown's almost back up. Now this is the gauntlet. This give me 10 skill points per round this game mode right here. 10 skill points per round this game mode right here. That's the one change I would want. This is round one. This is the way this is the way it was supposed to be. The double spawns on the bosses is a little bit much, especially if we go all the way to dragons. But we'll just I think add dragons to the pool of potential raid bosses in your square, absolutely square. And I'm okay going back to the main menu at certain points during the run. So say we we'll call it. We'll call it if you I think three systems does make sense if you want to do three different level scalings. You can do round seven, round fourteen, and round or no, because you need to split up into three quarters or four quarters, right? So round five, ten, and fifteen increase the difficulty. Something like that. Yeah, and send you back to the main menu, but if it if it affects anarchy too much and you're not in the that's like something you don't want, you can do sanity checker and see if that works. And add it as a like not requirement but you know a quality of life uh, recommendation maybe have so shadow wolf says maybe have like two tier style kill 10 get five skill points do 20 for another five that makes a lot of sense to me yeah So you get your skill points, so you just play through the levels, and your skill points aren't mission-based, even though they worked really hard on their... 
Pyrex figured out how to, to do custom missions, so you can still use them. You just get every so many kills. You know what I'm saying? And get, bon add bonus objectives, right? So the bonus objectives would be more kills. Get th uh, optional objective, get 30 kills. Get 40, get, get 50 kills. Yeah, but then you're not at spawn, so maybe set it to something a little bit more simple. But you can get maybe one more skill point. So you get five base for completing the first, and then you get one more skill point for bonus enemy uh, limit that you hit. So yeah, your, so your skill points would be attached to the amount of kills you get and the amount of rounds you complete. You get more bonuses if you, if you keep getting kills after the round is over. That's a GG setup right there. That's a nice reward system. Quality of life feature. So if you stick around the entire round and clear out all the enemies and, and loot all the chests, you also get an extra skill point or two. Because I agree, I, I kind of liked it better when there was no clear enemy on end, but that was only because we didn't have the technology. But now we have the technology. But I think I think it feels a little weird to... I don't know what I'm talking about, obviously. But... I think the mission... Being able to just leave a mission after 10 kills is, is, I think it's good. Or have the vault symbol give a skill point or something. That I think that could be cool. I kind of like the balance of the vault symbol specifically. I think it's pretty goaded, like how it is right now. I wouldn't want to change too much about it. But we have an overkill now. We can, we can blast through the zone. We, we, we rolled the right kind of enemies. We don't have to struggle and, and scrap and claw now. We did against those robots. Gallant sped around. Maybe we, maybe we can even kill this laddie quick. Who knows? Get him. Yes, sir. I'll eventually comment on that post. Something that I would... I would like, I would just personally like one raid boss and then, but still the difficulty scaling. And then the, the runs be, you know, but I think with two times enemies, you really have, you know, kind of like the juice for how you can scale up rewards. You, you want to stick around and kill more enemies? Sure. I'm not sure. This, that, is, that would be my wish list item. This is just a different scaling for the game. Different scaling for the game. Nice weapon to pick up here, especially because another gall Gallant Spider Ant just spawned. We do get our five points. So let's rock into Money Shot. Which will be a great help to us. Shooting my, my shots directly into their armor isn't the best strategy of all time, but Gallant's better it's so hard to hit them in either way. Kind of like, it's kind of have to get do what you gotta, gotta do against these guys sometimes. Another one. Keep it slagged, and we can keep it bagged. We work together. I want to get up there, can I? Yep. If I wanted to really tech, I could grenade jump up to here and be really broken. I kind of like to be down with the enemies, you know? Yeah, bonus bonus skill points on, on side objectives. That The side objective is more kills per round. I would kind of like a... Honestly, I know this is a lot to ask, but can you not implement... 
the the waves like the the kind of like the the cistern or slaughter or like you know the wave rounds where enemies come at you and you have to like defend your zone wouldn't there be a way to implement that for like a boss round you know is that possible Now you have to beat the you know the slaughter shaft. You have to beat Miss Moxie's Underdome. Like that would be a really great, great like way to roll with it. To split up the time between the rounds. You know, to give you that rival battle, that boss battle, you know. Reload speed and magazine size, we I think that we do like that. Okay. Rubber vault symbol. Melee damage. I feel like that's all I've been getting is 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 melee damage. Could the game please? I'm trying to I'm trying to produce here. And you're you're holding me back. Give me something good to eat here. I should probably put more respect on these. These Jacob's pistols, and I have a Jacob's pistol slot ready for it, so might as well. The overkills in slot one. The SMGs in slot two. Jacob's pistols in slot three and the launchers in slot four. Whoa. And we take the shock weapon. And we don't ask questions. I think we take Alexandre Sar, number two overall Washington Wizards, and we don't ask questions. NBA draft coming up this week. Washington Wizards, second overall pick. New general manager, Will Dawkins, who made his first pick last season. He was hired just before the draft. He made his first pick last season. Blau Koulibaly, who I think Wizards fans have, have come to the consensus that he's a pretty solid player. I think his he's got a, a bright future. He's a very young, very young star. He was only 19 when we drafted him. Even younger than that, maybe? He was his first year playing on the varsity team in France, the same one that Victor Webanyama played on. So they called him up the varsity. Um, and I didn't watch the games. I should really go watch the games, but he did well enough to get the attention of some scouts. And he ended up going number, I think, number six overall to the Wizards or seven. The, the Wizards actually traded up. They did some of their second round picks. I think I think they did this one or two second round picks that they had. Um, this stocked up to say, here, here's a second round pick. Can you swap with us so we can get our guy? And the other team was like, sure. I think I'm pretty sure that's how to, how, to, how it how it must have gone down. Either way, we we drafted Balakula Bali last year, and this year we have Alexandre Sar. See you next time, Anna Pression. Guess what? You're me, me reading your message ended up getting me killed. So you know what? This is your fault if I die. I'm gonna put the Alice on. I had that on you. Okay, never mind. You're fine. I would have had the I would have had the ban you. That would have been really unfortunate. Like, that's not his fault? No, it is. That's creeping. I, that, trying to get my attention with a, with a wholesome goodbye message is griefing. This time we do go Ranger. We don't, we don't look back. Just go for better for better gun skills, better gun skills. And I'm like, and now I'm starting to regret it. I'm like, dude, you why didn't you just go on with empathy? We already we've already been down this road. I want to shout outs to the stalkers that are helping us out with this guy. Couldn't have done it without your help. Okay. Looking okay. Honestly, what I can do is after I get the shield sound, just swap the overkill and run something like that. I also have slag I can get put on these lads, so just swap to the overkill. That's our finisher. There's a lot of stalkers. I'm realizing that times two st uh, spawn spawn uh, times two spawn stalkers is a little bit on on the edge of busted broken. Maybe I should toss a singularity if I have one. See you later, Anna Pression. I'll see you later. Griefer. Such a griefer, this guy. 
Good riddance, right? Never come back, this cave. No, no, please come back. I love you, it's all my fault. Okay, here we go, Clash Stalker. Boom, money shot, rips them straight to pieces. No need for shock damage weapon. You just use boar. Let's go. What people don't know about me so far is when, I, when I'm streaming, I'm bantering. Bantering. At least they still show a minimap on this. Yeah, that's a, that's a big help, too. Now I, can, I know I can just blast right in front of me. That's right. Oh, money shot straight through the shield. Okay, here we go. Time to spawn. We're clearing the stage. Can we fight one raid boss? And that's it. That's that's the run. Okay, it's ultimate badass stalker that's for some reason attacking me with all of its force and might. That was just not cool. We gotta cleanse that dude, even though he could have been of great service to us. Go for boar shots. Shoot, shoot through the models to get the boar shots. I have a TDR launcher if need be. Out of Grenages though. Which is a bad news bear sign. Woo! We got one grenade back, that's good. We got we got sticky homing singularity. Okay, let's just pull in some enemies then. Pull them in. Come on guys, make one big one big pile, one big circle if you don't mind. One big pile, one big circle. There we go. That's a pretty nice, that's a pretty nice one right there. Yep. I see that, I see these flyers swap spiraling overhead too. That guy's gotta go down. There we go. Sky Hunters, you really wanna do this? Okay, the ultimate badass loader. This used to be one of the hardest challenges in the game. Oh, and he's got his sights trained on me. Absolutely trained on me. Oh, gee, Willikers. I think what I might... I, I, I don't want to resort to it, but I think I might. Is it really worth it? There's two of them. We get... Listen. This, this, that's a fight for a different day, a different guy, a different guy. Okay, that's a fight for a different game, different, different guy, different game. Oh my gosh, get me out of there. There's no shot. I'm fighting those guys. Sorry. There's just no shot. Yeah. Start dinging them. One of them got away. Don't like that. But maybe I do. Reduce the amount of enemies I gotta kill. Okay, I just need to get to... Oh, I don't get my bonus until after I kill the mini boss, so... I don't want any at time here. Why not? Let's get some homing, homing bullets in here. Just always go for boar shots. Just always line them up with boar. Never not be using boar. You get a lot of damage out of it. No, let's go down. Let's go down here and join them. There we go. Drag them on in so I can bore them on up. Would you? Please. So easy. The singularity actually has a pretty big chunk of damage too, right there at the end. Shoot our masks too. How? And we do everything here. Right, to the chests. Chest of wonder, the chest of love. I just don't think it has I don't think any of these got the juice. Check it against my stats. Sorry, my pistol is just a little bit better. I like the Vlad off one though. How and look it look it's me. Hello. Very cool. Maybe I should keep the commander mod on.
I should keep the commander mod on so I can turn off my HUD so I can take better screenshots of those. Oh, I made the jump that time. Let's go. Alright, fire damage shotgun made me roll. Boom. Get bored and get chored. On drag him on in. There we go. Oh, we now we rip him. Okay, yeah, don't do two X spawns, two X spawns. Two X spawns though, it really helps out boar. I'll get even more chances to explore with boar. That's the angle right there. That's the angle right there. We're, we're fine. We'll get a kill on that, right? Surely. This is our angle. Come on. It's a must. This is a must get up. A must not die. There we go. Two assassin wasps. That's that's the scary part. Yeah, that's the scary part. We cannot go down again. We must run for our lives. Do not have a choice here. I wish I had to play it differently, but I, I had to play this way. Let's go for a transfusion grenade. I got this guy. He's, she's storming up right next to me right now. I'm going to increase my max HP. Duped. And we got to get back to my shotgun while I can. Money shot me. Money shot me through this guy. There we go. He's gone. Reclaim turret. Taking damage here. That's not. That's not good. But the, it shouldn't one shot me. Watch out for grenades. Here comes one. It's right in front. Look back here. He's got a lot of accuracy. This guy and that grenade is pretty pretty gnarly. I have my turret coming back up soon. Having to fight two of these guys is ridiculous. By the way, that, that grenade is pretty gnarly. I think that's what it was. Maybe not. That might just just be his gun. We're, we're, we're running. We're winning. There we go. He might he might go into a running phase here? Okay, now you're gone. I can, I, I defeated one of them, so that means I can. Get my points now. Which means I can now take electrical burn too. The next time I can get anarchy. And the trespasser, why not? Why not, uh, not us? Why not now? That's basically a perfect replacement for that Jacob's pistol. Toss my turret out. Find out where he's hiding. There he is. I will bypass his shield with this trespasser. There we go. He should be close now. See how his shield is full? There we go. He's down. Reclaim terror. That was a nice round. He gives me a nice greed pistol. I can, I can maybe get down with that. A Jacob's incendiary pistol. You would not believe your eyes at 10 million fireflies. Is shield bypass a perk of the gun? Yes, it is. This is the trespasser. Bypass the shields. Pretty nice. Let's get the greed in here as our new number one option for fire damage. Very much a fan of the greed. Now, I I believe Edgelesco Burn only works with the shock weapons. Well, I probably maybe should have taken precision instead, but either way, we want to get the anarchy, and the agree should be able to stack it up pretty nicely. Okay, let's roll. Uh, did I? I got everything I need wanted to here, right? I did. Let's roll. Okay, this fire damage should come in handy until the boss. See a matchstick. Until the boss, at which point I'm going to want to be swapping off. The only problem is going to be people's shields. Maybe we should just stay stick with this SMG. It can burn them.
That guy's taking a, a fire and a burned out right now. Which is keeping me healed up with elemental empathy. That's that's the idea of using the shock weapons. It, it looks like our guy, uh, Captain Flint. I, I want to get him triggered, actually, so that way I can... There's two of them. Why are there two of them? <laughs> it's not fair. I gotta be doing some good damage, though. Right? With boar? It's gotta be doing enough. Where are the two bosses? I'm trying to line them up. He tossed some nades out. We stick on him. We keep doing damage. We keep stick. Keep doing damage. Oh, they both go for the charge at the same time. Crazy talk, you two. Crazy talk. Thank God I have boar. Holy moly. Oh yeah. Yes, that's a headshot and a boar. Look at these two lads. They're just two dudes being bros. Honestly, can you even be mad at that? Oh, but I mean, they're certainly eating the same thing here. Okay, I keep getting knocked back. Leave me alone. How about that? Okay, one is down. I can get my points now, actually. So let's just, let's just start stacking up our, our anarchy. Boom. Anarchy acquired. Anything else that I want down here? Or do I just want to go for some more... Let's see. I have close enough. I can I can do some pretty good anarchy stuff here. Let's do last ditch effort. If we go down, get more damage. Or while moving, get more gun damage. I don't really know. Let's go last ditch effort. I think it's a pretty good defensive skill. Pretty good defensive skill. I need to get these guys in front of my dude, Power Pete. Or Captain Flint, I should say. That way I can go for some boar shots. How we rinse? Rinse with a capital R. Okay, get these shots off. Come on. Oh, why'd you have to roll that way? Not cool. Elemental empathy, come on, keep me keep me topped up. What is this? Your, that's, your, that's your one job. I'm out of ammo on that weapon. That's not a good sign. Ooh, not a good sign at all. I'm out of grenades as well. Terrible sign. Watch this one shot though. Later, kid. Oh, you want to get one shot too? No, I get it. No, I get it. You, you just want to delay it. Oh, you now you're lag switching me. Oh, ho, ho. That is about, that's about as shady as it gets right there. Oh, no one shot. Come on, get me there. Get me there. And, oh my gosh, in trespass or retrust. We, we can actually collect these, this, this, uh, this chest as well. We, we are on fire and we are going to go down here, probably. Start softening these guys up with some launcher shots. They're all behind cover, which makes me pretty nervous. Anything here that it'll change my life? Um, lightning bolt grenade. Sure, it'll give me one grenade to chuck. Morning star. Pimper now. Okay, pimper now. Get me back up from from my life, please. We're so back. No, we're so not back. Well, <laughs> we had some fun with it, and that's a pretty good challenge. I kind of like that times two multiplied running rogue land solo the first time challenge anyways that's gonna be for this video thank you all very much for watching if you enjoyed hit the like button subscribe to see more videos like this one i'll see you all in the next one bye